Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rant Pirate. Come on now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They finally freaking made the announcement. It only took the WNBA over a week from the time it was seemingly leaked that Caitlin Clark was named WNBA Kia Rookie of the Year. But she was not named the unanimous Rookie of the Year because there is one fraudulent piece of trash who has no business voting who gave Angel Reese a vote for Rookie of the Year. It was probably the same imbecile who gave Angel Reese a third place vote or was it a fourth place vote or whatever it was for league MVP. This stuff is out of control. Out of control. First, congratulations, Caitlin Clark. You earned it. You deserve it. You got what's yours. But my God, the way the WNBA has fumbled this mess is unreal. First off, strip whoever gave Angel Reese a vote because that person has no business voting for anything in the WNBA. Clearly, this person has a beef. I don't know who it is. I've seen certain people post certain things on Twitter, and I'm wondering if it might be that particular person. I won't name him, but you see this individual always jumping on, dogging Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> Happens to be a reporter out of Louisiana. I'm not sure if that's who made this call or if that person even has a vote. But there's always something with that particular guy. But again, I don't know if it was him. However, whoever it was, whoever it was, you should never vote for anything in the WNBA or any sport ever, ever, ever again. Caitlin Clark gets 66 out of 67 first place votes for Rookie of the Year, as she deserved to win in a unanimous way as she won with the AP Rookie of the Year. But tell me this, everybody. Why did it take so damn long? Why is it that the WNBA is dragging the hell along? You want to know why? Because they have nothing going on today. There's not a game going on in the WNBA right now, and they want to keep themselves in the news. And the only person that can keep the WNBA in the news is Caitlin Clark. She's the only one that will keep us talking about their trash can debacle of a league. It is Caitlin Clark. I am fired up because I, I, it it just popped like in the last 10 minutes. I saw it pop on my phone on, on, on Twitter. In the last 10 minutes, it was announced by the WNBA. Finally, finally. But you want to know how, what a joke the WNBA is? Let me show you what a joke this darn league is. Let me show you what a joke this league is. This league is such an embarrassment. Absolute freaking embarrassment. Look at this garbage. Look at this absolute freaking garbage. Name WNBA Rookie of the Year. Where? 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 Liberty take 2-0 series lead. Nafisa Collier, Defensive Player of the Year. Key players to watch in the semis. Year one, episode two, Camila Cardoso, Rikea, who cares? Where? Oh, it's a top store. Oh, there it is. It's a headline right here. Oh, my God. You want to know how bad it is? There's not a written article about this announcing it. WNBA, you suck. You suck. Headlines, nothing. They announced this without having a story written. Without a story. You want to know what this crap clicks to? This is what it clicks to. It clicks to a Caitlin Clark wins rookie of the year, whatever this is. I guess this is. A story for Twitter or Instagram. I don't even know. It does, it says WNBA.com hashtag stories. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Caitlin Clark awarded 2024 Kia Rookie of the Year. Indiana Fever guard guard Caitlin Clark has been named 2024 Rookie of the Year. Clark averaged 19.2 points, 8.4 assists, 
throughout the regular season. Next one, another image. This is the face of your damn league. The face of your damn league, and you don't give her the goddamn respect she deserves. I am fired hot right now. Y'all use the Thursday that y'all not playing in the playoffs. This should have been announced a week ago. This should have been announced, I don't know, when she was still on the damn court. Because this has been known since prior to them being eliminated. You sure as hell gave Asia Wilson her award. While they were playing, you've given Dijanae Carrington her award while playing. You've given, you gave, who else the award? Nafisa Collier her award while playing. But Caitlin Clark doesn't get her award while playing. When you damn well know this was already decided. Man, this is outrageous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And someone gave Angel Reese a vote? For first place, strip that piece of garbage from his or her vote today. They know who made these votes. They know. Recorded most assists in a single season, most assists in a single game, fastest player to reach 300 career assists, most assists per game by a rookie in a single season, the, just the third player to average eight plus assists in a single season. Youngest player to lead the league in assists per game. First player to lead the league in assists and three-pointers made per game. Made 122 three-point field goals. Second most all-time and the most by a rookie in a single season. First rookie to record a triple-double. First in points per game, assists per game by a rookie. Third in re rebounds per game by a rookie. First as a guard. Scored the most points by a rookie in a single season. Led the fever to – why is it closing? This is their trash can. I have this on pause. And they st their site stinks. Scored the most points by a rookie in a single season. Led the fever to franchise records in points per game, assists per game, three-pointers per game. Set a fever franchise record for three-pointers made, points scored in double-doubles. Only player to record 750-plus points, 300-plus assists, 200-plus rebounds in any 40-game span. Any. Any. Not just a rookie. Any player in the history of the league totaled eight 20.10 assist games, the most in a single season. The record, I think, is 10 or 11. She will break that in the first five or six games next season. And you gave Angel Reese a vote? Man. Look, congratulations, Caitlin Clark. You earned it. You're a badass. You're a, you're a certified badass. And you're a class act as well. You're an absolute classy individual. Because the abuse verbally, physically that you took this season, most people would have lost it. And that's what makes her so darn special. That's what makes her so special. Because you see the reactions when anything was said about Angel Reese, how she gets all flippant and obnoxious. You see the reactions from Asia Wilson. You see the reactions from Dijanae Carrington. You see the reactions from Kennedy Carter. You see the reactions from Alyssa Thomas. You see these reactions over and over and over again. They're butt hurt because you're better than them. But you stay quiet. You stay classy. You let your play show. Yeah, you might have a temper tantrum or two on the basketball court. Who doesn't? Asia Wilson just airballed a layup in the playoffs to tie a game and didn't care that her teammate was on the floor and went to complain to a ref because that's what she does every single game over and over again. But you kept it classy whenever being asked a question about anyone. Absolutely deserved Awesome achievement. Congratulations. But whoever gave Angel Reese that vote should never have. Should, they shouldn't even. They, they, you want them to take away a credential from Christine Brennan? That person needs to lose their credential because that person is an embarrassment 
to the profession. The fact that Aaliyah Boston was an, <laughs> a unanimous one last year. Mind you, there was no competition at all. The fact that she was unanimous and Caitlin Clark is not a unanimous rookie of the year tells you all you need to know about this league. It tells you all you need to know. It took him a week to, to let it out the bag, something that had been seemingly leaked over about a week ago. Oh, by the way, let's see how many viewers this trash can of a league gets tomorrow. Probably, I don't give a damn anymore. Caitlin Clark, congratulations. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love to hear what you guys say. I know I went off on this one because this one drives me crazy. Crazy. Conveniently announced the day they don't have a game. The day that the day after not having a game. So you have a two day game, two game, two day gap. They had to keep themselves in the news. And who else to keep themselves in the news than Caitlin Clark? The one who's made them relevant. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, pound that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, share this video, hit us up on all our social media channels. This is Rudy's rant. Come on now.